I just got served. My baby daddy's taking me to court. Like a sheriff came to my door and served me with this right here because uh -oh. I didn't let him see the kids. <laughs> At this point, I'm just tired because I know it's a- Girl, that could be kidnapping. So yes, you need to be in court. His little girlfriend, Ashley, that's behind this shit. Ever since he got with her, he's been filing motion after motion after motion. <laughs> and I'm here to tell both of you yeah, I because come. I know they're watching. Yeah, I come. With this, that, because one thing is to not like me. And another thing is to try to drag me to court over some false allegations. That's an official summons, ma'am. You need to go pick that up off the floor and make sure you're there with all your supporting documents at the courthouse at the appointed time. Unhinged. No common sense. He's taking me because I won't let him see the kids. Because you're being an idiot and those are his children. That's a crime. That's a literal crime. What is this? Entitlement where some of these women think that they can come out and just do whatever. They don't follow the law. I've seen this too many. Yeah, people can say whatever they want. To, I've seen this already. Just not going to do it. Judge order you to take classes. Before you can see your kids, ma'am, you need to take these classes. Don't want to do it. I ain't going to do it. Ma'am, you cannot pick those kids up until you take this class. Still show up at the door trying to get the kids. <laughs> Did you hear what the judge said? Yeah, she heard him. She didn't care because she was going to do whatever she wanted to do because that's how she felt. That's what she got right here. It sounds like you're mad because that man's over here. Oh, man, she behind this. Oh, man, how he going to move on and leave me with the kids and da, 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 da. Well, he's trying to see the kids. Okay, well, you're going to take the kid. That's the only power that you have over him is the kids. You don't want it to end this way. Just go to court. Get your visitation. When he's got the kids, go live your best life. Go date. Go find somebody else and be happy. He's moved on. You do the same. Don't keep on trying to keep these kids in prison just to punish him. Let that woman take care of your kids. Let that woman build a village. They talk about it takes a village to raise a child. And here you are fighting against the, the village. Man. I really have been trying it. And the only reason why I didn't let the kids go over there. Put your glasses on you straight. Don't like me. And I'm never going to allow my kids to be around people who don't like me. Because mm -mm. if you don't like me, how can you like my kids? What? If you don't like me, how can I know that my kids are safe under your care? What? If you don't like me, how can I trust you with my precious angels that I carried for nine months and birth? I feel like we could have discussed this over the phone. Uh, uh. All I'm doing as a mother is protecting my children no, from possible harm. No, ma'am. This, this is dramatic. Come on, man. I hear you. I hear you. But come on. I'm just trying to protect my kids. An existential, existential threat. This is what this woman is. How, how you going to like my kids if you don't like me? What? Because you're acting stupid. That's why I don't like you. The kids, they perfect angels. They be, I love them babies. Come over. Come over here. Stepmama going to take care of you. But you, ma'am, stay out my yard. Because have y'all not been watching the news? All the weird stuff all these baby daddy's girlfriends be doing to children that Girl. they don't like. I'm not putting my kids in danger. And I honestly feel like the judge is going to understand Girl. that as a mother, it is my duty to protect my kids above anything and everything. So no, my kids will not be going over there. And to all the mamas that have been through this, do y'all think I need a lawyer? Ma'am, you're going to need about two or three. You're going to need a team. Unless you take this video down, if your man, if your ex ex-dude your ex-boyfriend whatever he is to you if your baby daddy pulls this video you need to take this down now if he pulls this video the judge is gonna be like you're crazy ma'am you are a certified psychopath clinically insane ma'am giving the kiss to him then you're gonna be all crying on the doorstep of the court you're gonna be all down there at the water fountain pouring water in your face dipping your head like you're bobbing for apples Somebody patting your back while you're throwing up in these in these folks' fountain, acting a fool, pulling your hair out. Can't find your glasses. You left your cell phone on the other side of the city by the hot dog stand, acting a fool because you didn't put up a video like this because you was in your feelings. You asking for help while also destroying yourself. Ma'am, get a hold of it. A lock in. Just go eat something. Find something nice that you want. Anything. I don't even care if it's a hundred dollar meal. Go to one of these nice steakhouses, get you the salmon, whatever you want. Just do something to get your head out of this dumb headspace that you're in before you lose your life, before you lose your kids. And now you're going to be mad at everybody like the system is against you. 
but you put stupid anyway. Hi, so this is day one of looking for a husband. Um, apparently husband. it's resorted to me coming to TikTok now because <laughs> can't really meet anybody. Well, considering I don't really go to the house much. Well, I do go to church every Sunday, so that's every, a good thing. Every Sunday. Um, I can cook. She's so country. I'm pretty good at cooking. I always say my grandma and my mom taught me everything they know. I just added seasonings. Woo! And, um, Shots fired. I don't know. DM me, I guess. <laughs> I've noticed that broke low class men, you know which ones I'm talking about. Mm mm. I really worry about young mm -mm. girls that are growing up on TikTok and the stuff that they see because this stuff shouldn't be easily accessible yep. to young children. I find this kind of content very damaging yep. to young children and it should only be 18 and up. And even as it shouldn't even be 18 and up, it should be trash and down. Find a trash chute to put this stuff in so it can go out to the landfill with all that other nonsense at. We're not even going to recycle this because we don't want this coming back. Stupidity. Girl. As an adult that is 22 years old, I find this content damaging for me personally. I don't like to see it. It makes me feel some kind of way about myself. Mm. And if you've seen my previous video, I'm actively trying to block this type of content from coming up on my For You page. I've These type of women that say that type of stuff, ma'am, if you built like a box and say that, if you built like a sea lion and just say that you page i've refreshed my feed a billion times and it's not working this uh you're gonna have to watch who you follow you have to start all the way back over from scratch uh, to get this type of nonsense off your feet type of content is being aggressively pushed down my throat i don't know why is there some kind of agenda that's being pushed some kind of narrative <laughs> i don't like it why is it being aggressively shown to literally everyone everyone i know gets this type of content on their feed whether they interact <laughs> with it or not mm. and for me personally i don't need this stuff because in my culture we already have this system set up where men provide for women you <laughs> don't have to look a certain way mm -hmm. or act a certain way to get a man to love you provide for <laughs> you and take care of you it's you just have to be a woman and exist that's that's interesting <laughs> So you mean it's not the men that are pushing standards on these women like they keep on saying? It's not, it's not the men's fault. I don't want to get it twisted and say that men don't have any part in it, but it's the algorithm. It's TikTok saying, hey, this is what you what we want you to see. I don't want to see this. It don't matter. This is what woman, what type of woman we want you to be. Don't blame it on the men. All you gotta do. And I just feel like the way he plays basketball, like he shoots a lot of threes. I just don't. You don't. He doesn't dunk. He wants us to dunk. You he dunk. Can, like, he can dunk. Michael Porter Jr. He can absolutely dunk. He does absolutely dunk. The man's like, what is he? 6'10? 6 6'9? 6 6 the man can absolutely dunk. His position is not to dunk, it's to shoot threes and do other things. But he can absolutely dunk. Talking about, it's just, it's a tired conversation. And <laughs> I'm. You can see Gilbert like, what is this nigga? I'm very annoyed with men continuing to create these spaces to discuss these things when they don't watch our games, they don't know us, they don't ask us our opinions about anything ever. And like, if you don't have to watch us play, that's fine. But like, for you to just sit there and just constantly shed our craft, our product and everything without really being tuned in, like, it's just not, it's not You're right. You're not. Y'all always want to talk about us, so might as well watch us, shit. What is the problem? What is the solution? I mean, everyone says the problem is the product. It That's is. not the problem. There's great basketball being played. Sure it is. Throughout the entire W. Then we're, sure. all, we're either getting compared to NBA, which everyone complains about how NBA is being played right now. So we either get compared to that, or we get compared to the three most marketed women's college basketball games of the entire women's college basketball season. What is the solution? We're getting, because our team, our league is so small and so talented, like, those outbursts, like, those outbursts are hard because you have a lot of good players. Yeah. Play. I don't think that's it. I think it's the fact that you don't have a good product and it's not the problem is not your is that you're not it's you are talented, but it's that nobody cares. So how do you get people to care about your talent? That's the issue that you're having. You can shoot and, and play fundamental basketball, but honestly, people want a little bit of spice that's why the nfl 
has changed the rules and that's why they don't call it real football anymore. I'm not debating that. I'm just saying what the NFL has done, what the NBA has done to put up more points on the board because people like to see scoring. I like to see you throw a big, deep bomb pass and you score, especially on the last play of the game. And it just gives you a hit of dopamine. And man, it was a great game and we loved it. And that's what keeps the consumer coming back for more. There's not a lot of that going on in the WNBA. Well, you haven't watched W compared to what you can get. Entertainment does not seem to discriminate if and you can say it does, but it doesn't. You can look at some of these adult sites where predominantly when women are there and men are paying for that stuff. Again, I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying it's adult entertainment that men are consuming and they are actually paying for it, paying a lot of money for it. That's something that the market wants. It's entertainment. And so when you go over to sports, that's something that people want. You're giving me what I want, even though, yes, you're going to lose some customers and some other subscribers and things of that nature. By and large, this is our business model and this is what is making us money. So as the WNBA, for sure, there are talented women there. It's just that it's it's boring. Think about Floyd Mayweather. If you've ever watched him, the knock on Floyd May Mayweather is he doesn't he doesn't fight, but he actually does fight. It's just <laughs> his fighting style to a lot of people are boring. It, it, it's boring relative to what you actually want to see in a boxing. I want to see somebody get knocked out. That's what I paid my money for. Is it real box boxing to just see somebody get knocked out? No, probably not. That's the art of the art of boxing is to hit and not get hit. And if I knock you down, that's just like the cherry on top. But I'm hit, bop, 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 and move. They don't want to see that. I even though you're getting hit and you're getting taxed and all that stuff, but I knocked them down though. That's what they want. That's what they want to see. I want to see a knockout. I want to see a brutal knockout. And I want to see it <laughs> at some point in time during this fight. And he needs to stay down with an emphatic win. That's what a dunk is. That's what a dagger three is. An emphatic boom, back breaking shot. A boom, back breaking, momentum building, suck the wind out of the other team dunk. That's what I want to see. I want to see this other team get destroyed. There's not a lot of that going on in the WNBA because it's not physically possible at this point in time. That's my take on why you're not getting the views that you're getting. Even though, yes, once again, there are talented women probably could cross me up, probably blow by me for sure. So, you know, hopefully you can put out something that is more entertaining. That's just my opinion. Till the next video, I'm out.